Hello traders, so this is part two, how to avoid ABCDE, corrective way pattern, trading mistakes, uh, part uh, two. Have you watched part one? If you did, uh, thank you very much. Let's get started. In part two, we want to share with traders another tips that they can use uh, to improve their ABCDE, corrective wave, in your wave triangle uh, trading. All right? In the first part, we were saying that the best uh, A, B, C, D, E in your wave pattern very often will be formed very often in the fourth in your wave because it's a shallow uh, corrective wave. And also, we are likely to see a valid A, B, C, D, E corrective wave after a strong bullish or bearish uh, price action. We need to understand that the rotation can be prolonged and we need to use uh, a top-down trading method to control the risk. In part two, I want to add to what we have said before, that the ABCDE corrective wave can also be formed after the C wave, C for Charlie, C wave of a flat correction, or the C wave of a zigzag pattern. So traders that have been following that for years, all right, already know how to master the flat correction especially the expanded flat correction, the structure of the expanded flat correction, which is usually form after the fifth way, we usually see <coughs> the flat correction after a strong motive wave. So at the end of the fifth wave, the motive wave that has started from the first wave has ended in the fifth wave, and that motive wave is very, very strong then there is a high chance because the market is saturated by the bullish traders in an uptrend or saturated by the bearish trader in a downtrend, we are likely to see a flat correction. And the structure of the flat correction is one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, a double retracement, followed by the C wave of the flat correction, which is the one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> my apology traders, clearing my voice. So, when the C part of the expanded flat correction is quite strong, talking about the, the strength of the momentum, all right? If that C wave is strong, and we are likely to see another A, B, C, D, E corrective wave. It does not mean that the correction has finished. The only thing that can come into our mind is that we see first corrective wave, flat correction, the C wave has been strong, follow, there is a high chance that the following corrective wave will be a, a, a B, C, D, E. In that case, we are likely to see uh, a complex correction. All right? Another time that we are likely to see uh, A, B, C, D, E is that after, okay, a strong, all right, X wave. So trader who mastered a W, X, Y wave, we know that we have a multi wave followed by okay the W wave and then the X wave. The X wave is a failure of a trend. If that S wave is quite strong, very strong, taking into consideration the market environment, we can also have all right uh, the following wave uh, can become all right uh, A B C D E corrective wave. So we may have, for instance, uh, all right a flat correction. X wave and then, all right, if a double and then a, a B C D E a corrective wave. The key point that we are coming back to all the time is the strength of the last move. So, if the C wave of the flat correction is very strong, the next corrective wave can also be a, a B C D E corrective wave. So, what we are saying here is that if we see a flat correction and the C wave is quite strong. And then we identify A, B, C, D, E. We can see that our A, B, C, D, E is likely to be a good one. Therefore, we can give it a chance. All right. What we are saying also is this, that if we have a next wave, talking about W, S, Y wave, if the S wave is quite strong, talking about the momentum, all right, the Y wave of that W, S, Y wave is also likely to be A, B, C, D, E corrective wave. So if we see a strong X wave of a W, X, Y wave, and then the Y wave is A, B, C, D, E, we'll be thinking that probably this is a good one. 
So all together, from the first part of this tutorial to what we are saying now, there is a high chance that we are dealing with a valid or a high probability A, B, C, D, E, if the prior move is quite strong, talking about the momentum. Another time that we are likely to see A, B, C, D, E is during the A, B, C, D chart pattern. Now, do not get confused. There is a chart pattern that we call A, B, C, D. You can go to www.stochastic-mandy.com, click on A, B, C, D chart pattern. So the A, B, C, D chart pattern, so the first leg of that move is A to B. If it's very, very strong, all right, the portion that is, uh, all right, forming from B to C, all right, is likely also to be, all right, A, 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 A B, C, D, E, correct way. So, see, if you are saying now, if you say this is point A, this is point B, all right, and it's very strong, talking about the A, B, C, D chart pattern, you may see after the A, B, the price goes one, two, three, four, five, forming the point C here, and then the last portion of that A, B, C, D going up to point D. So be aware that the session from B to C of the A, B, C, D chart pattern can also be a valid A, B, C, D, E corrective way. So you may say, what A, B, C, D chart pattern has got to do with earlier wave? Earlier wave corrective way. So you have to understand price goes up, all right? The momentum is strong. The price has to bring in and breathe out. So strong move, high volatility, low volatility. And the low volatility, we are likely to see A, B, C, D, E. So if the impulse move that has happened before, the first leg of the price action is very, very strong. At the time when the price is pausing, when the volatility is becoming a little bit low, we can have a valid A, B, C, D, E corrective wave that is correcting the first move that went up, whether it's A, B of the A, B, C, D a chart pattern. Do not get confused. I'm talking here about A, B, C, D chart pattern, and I'm also talking about A, B, C, D, E, earlier wave corrective uh, pattern. All right? So this is about the second part of this tutorial. Be aware that uh, if we have a flat correction and the C wave of the flat correction or the C wave of the zigzag pattern, so the zigzag pattern, the structure is that we have one, two, three, four, five, first leg of the zigzag forming the A part of the zigzag pattern, and then the B part of the zigzag pattern, one, two, three. If the C part of the zigzag pattern, which is again one, two, three, four, five, is very, very strong, what is happening, because the volatility is quite high, is strong, the momentum is very, very strong, the prior will pause. That's what's happening all the time. Strong move, okay, pause. Strong move, pause. That's what the prior doing all the time. All right, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So if the C wave of the flag correction or the zigzag pattern is quite strong, we can see after that A, B, C, D, E, correct wave. Doesn't mean that when we have a strong C wave, definitely we'll have A, B, C, D, E. What we are saying is that if after the C wave of the zigzag pattern or the flag correction is, is completed, and it is very, very strong C wave, and then after that, if A, B, C, D, E, correct wave is in place, we will give it a chance. That's what we are saying. It doesn't mean that definitely we will see A, B, C, D, E, but we are saying after a strong move, if we see A, B, C, D, E, we will give a chance to that A, B, C, D, E. All right? I hope I have managed to communicate what I'm trying to share with you and also that you will find it useful, okay, to improve your A, B, C, D, E, correctly wave a pattern trading. All right? So this is about how to avoid A, B, C, D, E, correctly wave pattern, trading mistake, a part a two. I invite you now to follow me in part three, when I will give you another, the last tips that you need to know about the A, B, C, D, E, that will help you to avoid the A, B, C, D, E, correctly wave pattern, a trading mistakes. All right? If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know. 
by giving us your thumbs up. If you dislike it, make sure you mark it down so we know that people dislike this video and we need to improve, all right? That's the point of marking it down. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today and make sure you click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So this will conclude our discussion today about how to avoid ABCDE correctly way pattern trading mistake part two. I would like to take this opportunity one more time to thank the trader who did ask an essential question. This is very important. If you have any question, put in the comment section. That can also help us to start recording a series of videos. Thank you very much for asking an essential question, Mr. Chioni. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders uh, talking about how to avoid ABCDE, correct way, pattern, trading mistakes, a part a two. See you in part a three. Will you be there? Be there on time. Happy training to you all, and I will speak to you soon.